guys, I thought I'd take a quick minute and film a video talking to you how to bake a whole chicken. There's a lot of different ways to cook chicken and whole chickens and rotisserie chickens and all this and that and the other. You can do it in the oven, you can do it in your crock pot, and that's the route we're going to go today. Um, this is one of my favorite recipes. Um, I did get the recipe from 100 Days of Real Food, um, but there are many variations of this particular recipe that I'm about to give you. So if you search online and you look up, you know, whole chicken cooked in crock pot or how to cook a whole chicken even in like maybe a Dutch oven or, a, or in your cast iron skillet in your oven, it's going to achieve the same thing. Um, so there's many different recipes and blogs and websites for that, but I do want to mention where I got the specifics on that. I try to always mention those. Um, that I get ideas from because I would expect the same done for me. So I wanted to mention that, but I have had great success with this recipe. And as I go through it, you'll understand why. All right, so it obviously is, I'm using a crock pot. I have many crock pots, and there are some days I may have two crock pots going at once, depending on what we are cooking. I think they are very helpful to have. Um, I think it's good to have the standby. You know, sometimes I'll throw some just some pinto beans in the crock pot before I go to bed one night because I know the next day we will either have uh, a big dish and that's the side or that's the focus with cornbread on the side. It really helps us stay home uh, and trying to, you know, prepare meals at home. And if nothing else, you know, pinto beans and cornbread or chicken is always a good thing. So this particular recipe calls for a whole bird, the whole fryer. And I, at this time, have not started butchering my chicken, so I did buy this. I do buy organic, if at all possible. Um, so you buy the whole bird. You can go to the uh, actual butcher, and they have them, or you can buy them already prepackaged. I have done both ways. Um, so all I did was buy the whole fryer, okay? And you'll actually have it to where some of them have inside the cavity of the bird, uh, like the giblets or whatever. So all I did was take the whole bird, Okay, I had to thaw it out from the freezer, so it took about a day or two in the fridge to thaw it out. And then I took it, when I was ready to cook it, you cook this whole recipe, um, you prepare it and cook it about six hours before you want to eat it. So around 11 o'clock this morning, um, I was preparing the bird. So I took it out, it was already completely thawed out, so I took it to my sink, cut it out of the, the wrap, took out the little package inside, and then I washed it really uh, very thoroughly. There wasn't a whole lot of juice or as far as blood or anything, so it's not like a messy process. So you're just going to wash the bird, okay? Wash it in, wash it out, get it good, and then you want to pat it really dry. So I did that. Done. On the side, I did a prep of different spices. Now, if you start making this, you can make all kinds of different mixtures with your spices. I tend to do a lot of salt, pepper, garlic powder, thyme, um, a little bit of cayenne pepper. You can add Italian uh, spices to them. Um, just whatever spice, paprika, just a whole mix. And I just do a dash of this and a dash of that and more of this and more of that. I've made this so much that, you know, I could probably give you specifics, but I don't. I go with more of what I like, which is, of course, salt and garlic powder and just a touch of this or touch of that. So, again, pick a good five basic spices that you like and mix it up in a just a little, like a little cereal bowl okay from that point i come i come to the crock pot okay and on the bottom of the crock pot i always spray it with my olive uh, not olive oil you can with olive oil but just a basic um coconut oil spray organic and then i slice an onion i put a whole onion and sometimes i'll even put carrots in the bottom think it's very similar to cooking a turkey at thanksgiving in the oven. So you're thinking of what are, is your bird going to be simmering in and baking with in order to give, her, give its flavor. So once I put the onion at the bottom, or onion and possibly carrots, I then take the bird, make sure it's real good and dry, just the bird alone, and I put it inside the crock pot, okay? From that point, I start layering my seasoning, my whole little mix that I've made, okay? All my little seasonings. And again, you can add any type of seasoning you want. Lemon flavor, lemon pepper, you can add your BKW seasonings. I've got a whole pantry of spices here, okay? And I have, you know, you can add just, you know, whatever from, like I said, garlic powder. You can do your BKW seasonings. You can do cayenne pepper. 
You've got all of your Italian spices in there. You can do a Creole. It's just all about what you want to add to chicken. What do you like on chicken? Okay, from there, so I put the spices all on the breast up onto the actual chicken, and I make sure that I get some down inside the cavity, okay? So by 11.30, which was, uh, you know, several hours ago, I turned the bird on. This is hot. I've just now cut it down to low because we're about to eat, but you have it on high. So the, the bird's going to cook anywhere from, I believe the recipe calls for about five hours, but depending obviously upon how well your crock pot cooks, is going to depend on how well, how fast it uh, cooks. So I would say anywhere from four to six hours, probably, you will know. So I'm going to raise this up. So if you want to come up, just raise up just a little bit to see, I think I'm checking to see if this is ready. So this has been cooking all day. So it's created its own juice. I did not add water. I did not add oil. I did not add anything to it. You can see that it's literally, it's, it's, it's falling apart. It's so tender. So what I do from that point is we eat the chicken. I mean, we literally, and it's so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so good. From that point, we tonight will have mashed potatoes, green beans, just what salad. That's pure cooked chicken, organic chicken, okay? I always like the dark meat myself. Actually, so you're going to take, you're going to take the actual chicken and eat it tonight. Then what I do is once it cools down, I strip it. So whatever meat remains, white and dark, I then strip it and get all of that off of there. And typically I put it in a bag and put it in the freezer because then I'll make that into like a chicken casserole later in the week or a chicken pot pie. So you really get out of my family, we get about two meals out of one bird. Then from there, what I'm going to do is leave the carcass in the crock pot, okay? So after you've eaten, after you've gotten your meat, whatever, I'm going to leave this in the crock pot, okay? And I'm going to add uh, bay leaves. I'm going to add a little more spices. I'm going to add, if you didn't put carrot in with the onion, see that there's onion. I'll put my fork back in there. There's onion that has cooked down with this all day. So that's going to help give it its flavor. So you're going to leave your onion in there. You're going to have your carcass, your bones, the whole deal. You're going to leave it in there. You're going to fill your crock pot way up with water, say pretty close to the top, maybe an inch below the rim. Add more spices, add your bay leaves, maybe a little more thyme. You didn't have carrots in there before, add your carrots. And you're going to let that cook overnight. And then sometime tomorrow... I'm going to take it, let it cool. I will remove the carcass out of the crock pot. And then I'm going to take the juice and I'm going to put it through the colander and let all, anything that remains, the colander's going to catch it. And from there, you've made homemade chicken broth. So from there, you can can that. You can make homemade chicken noodle soup. And all of that broth is 100% homemade. You know what's in it. You've added what spices you want to add to it. You've added how much salt you do or sodium, how much you do or do not want, et cetera, et cetera. So really, this is like a major three-step process. Once you get it in the crock pot and it's cooking, you're going to get a dinner. You're going to get chicken to make another dinner, hopefully, from it. Maybe chicken salad, whatever you make chicken with. Shredded chicken. Tortilla, uh, put it in tortillas for quesadillas, all sorts of things. And then, of course, move forth to making your own homemade broth. So I thought I would share this. I think this is just a handy-dandy, uh, neat-to-know uh, recipe. Again, I know that I have some ways to make it in the oven, but I like the idea of being able to make broth as well. So this helps me uh, with that for future recipes. So I hope this helps you out. I hope I explained it pretty good. And if you have any questions, you can inbox me. And, again, you can go to 100 Days of Real Food to check out all the things that she has on her website and blog. So we want to give credit to her, and uh, we hope you like it, and um, hope you're having a good night. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.